fibrocartilage connective tissue. These slides are made for NAMI 10A lab at Mount San Antonio College. Let's review. There are four main tissue types in the human body. Number one, we have something called epithelia, also known as epithelial tissues. Then there's connective tissues, there's muscle tissues, and nervous tissue. Connective tissue is characterized by scattered cells. And uh, because the cells are scattered, there are spaces in between them. So the spaces in between them is called matrix. Okay, that's the, the space outside the cell. Sometimes we will see proteins in connective tissue. Sometimes the matrix can be liquid, semi-solid, or solid. In this case of fibrocartilage, the matrix would be semi-solid. And keep in mind that connective tissue is never found on the surface because if it is, it's then would be called epithelial tissue. Uh, quick overview of the different types of connective tissue. With fibrocartilage, we will be under this heading of supporting connective tissue, in which case we're, we're here. There are three types of cartilages in the body, and uh, we're going to talk about fibrocartilage. So let's take a look. Right off the bat, the word fibro should clue you in that there's a lot of fiber. What kind of fiber specifically? Collagen fibers. And if you remember, in areolar, loose connected tissue, collagen fiber has a wavy look. So if you look at the slide, you see some waviness here outside the cell in the matrix. Let's talk about the cell because this is cartilage. The cell found in cartilage is chondrocyte. Okay, chondro stands, uh, means cartilage. Site is cell. So you put it together, chondrocyte is cartilage cell. And something unique to cartilage would be lacuna. Chondrocyte lives in lacuna. So, so far you've only seen it, uh, this is the first time. But uh, later on, when we talk about bone, which is very much uh, similar to cartilage, you will also see bone cells in lacuna as well. Where are we in the body? Fibrocartilage, because of its great strength in the large number of collagen fibers, it will be found in places in the body that requires a lot of strength, such as, in this picture, the intervertebral disc, in the spinal column. We also have fibrocartilage in the pubic symphysis. That's uh, the middle piece of cartilage holding the right and left pelvic bone together in the front. And also in the knee joint, we have fibrocartilage. Here is the real picture. You can see the wavy collagen fiber. Very big cells here. Those would be chondrocyte. And notice there's a little bit of a space around each cell, and that would be the lacuna. The same picture is drawn here in the bottom, so it's easy to see. And here you can see clearly the chondrocytes and the white spaces around them. That would be lacuna. This is a very high power view of fibrocartilage. Okay, and here, as you can see, that would be the matrix, and you can see the waviness of the collagen fiber. This is one large lacuna, and inside this lacuna, we see a chondrocyte. What stands out, that dark, roundish area, that's probably the nucleus of a chondrocyte. Here's another lacuna, and in this lacuna, we see a chondrocyte here. The bluish stuff is probably the cytoplasm, and that round oval uh, structure, that's probably the nucleus of this chondrocyte. And here's another lacuna, and that is the nucleus of the chondrocyte. This is just a simple drawing showing you the chondrocyte in the lacuna and the wavy collagen fibers in the matrix. Remember, the matrix is outside the cell. This is a uh, low power view of the fibrocartilage in the intervertebral disc. Even on this low view, you can see the chondrocyte. 
those are the chondrocyte there. And then in a lot of these chondrocytes, you see the little white area, the white space around them, and that would be lacuna. Of course, in between the chondrocyte in the matrix, we would have the uh, waves of the collagen fiber. Although on the low power view, the waviness of the collagen fiber is not obvious. This is high power. And in, even in high power, you can see the chondrocyte here in the white space called lacuna. Here's another chondrocyte in the lacuna. So here are more chondrocytes in lacunas that I'm pointing out. Now in between these uh, lacunas, you see the matrix in a waviness type of pattern. And once again, that would be collagen fiber. This stain is very similar to the, the pink collagen fiber seen in the areola loose connective tissue. In another view of fibrocartilage, we see, if you see the nucleus, then you can see the chondrocyte. Okay, so they're around. Those would be the nucleus of the chondrocyte. Remember, they live in a little space called lacuna. By the way, I was told recently that uh, lacuna in Spanish is crib. So you want to think of the little cell as the baby lying in the crib. That would be a great way to remember it. Okay, so lacuna is crib in Spanish. In this case, lacuna is the little space in which we find the chondrocyte. And of course, what's remarkable about the slides is all these wavy lines, right? The wavy lines. That would be the collagen fiber. Here's another look. This is under high power, and you can see the cells, the chondrocyte in lacuna. And in between, there's a little bit of a pink waviness. That would be cartilage. I'm sorry, that would make it cartilage, and it would make it fibrocartilage, because that would be collagen fibers. Another view of uh, fibrocartilage. Okay. Same thing, chondrocytes in lacunas, many of them here. And then the pink background, uh, that would be the uh, uh, waviness of the fibrocartilage. That would be collagen fibers. Another view of the wavy collagen fiber, that should jump out at you. And when you see those waves, uh, those long strand of collagen fiber, you should think something that has a lot of collagen. So in that case, it would be possibly dense regular or fibrocartilage. If you can see these cells, these chondrocytes in lacuna, that would help you to determine this is fibrocartilage. Here's another look. Waviness of collagen fiber, very long, okay, very long waves. And uh, in fact, most of these waves tend to be running in the same orientation, same direction. And then, of course, you see these big cells, and that would be chondrocytes in lacuna. Another view, lots of chondrocytes in lacuna and lots of waves. Okay? These waves, of course, is collagen fiber, so this is fibrocartilage. Another view, the waviness of the collagen fiber. And here, the cells are actually pretty small. These are chondrocytes in lacuna. Okay, chondrocytes in lacuna. Another look. Right off the bat, you should see here's a chondrocyte in lacuna. Here's another chondrocyte in lacuna. And then in between is this wavy type of formation. That would probably be collagen fibers because this is fibrocartilage. And one last look. See lots of fibers coming through the whole screen, and it tends to pretty much be in this up and down type of direction. Long fibers, those would be collagen fibers. And then these cells, of course, are chondrocytes in lacunas, because it's fibrocartilage. Okay, another look, fibrocartilage, magnified 400 times. And you should see the fibro, uh, I'm sorry, the cartilage cells in lacuna. So this is chondrocyte in lacuna. Another chondrocyte in lacuna. There's another one, another cell, another cell. So they're pretty much all around. 
But in between these chondrocytes in lacuna, we see these wavy formation kind of running up and down the screen this way. Okay, those will be the collagen fibers. And one last look. Here we have collagen, um, sorry, collagen fibers running in this direction. Okay, these bands of collagen fiber running this direction. And then in this, you know, in between these collagen fibers, you see these chondrocytes in lacuna. Okay, chondrocytes in lacuna. So this is fibrocartilage. Okay, that's it.